Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. So, what I wanted to ask you guys was this Do you think the Philadelphia Eagles believe in Jalen Hurts? Do you think the Philadelphia Eagles believe in Jalen Hurts? At this point, the answer would have to be it would have to be, yeah. I mean, from my standpoint, if I'm the Philadelphia Eagles, you're doing all of this because you have Jalen Hurts. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm looking at a lot of people's draft boards and I see Trevor Lawrence on a draft board. I mean, even think even having Trevor Lawrence on a draft board, in my opinion, is a waste of a spot on a draft board when you could be using that energy to evaluate somebody else. Trevor Lawrence is not slipping down to six. And we ain't got no business, nobody's business trading up to number one. So that's just a scenario that's just just outlandish to me. It's just outlandish to me. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, they better make it. They better, let's listen. The wide receivers are going out there planning sometime in the offseason to go start catching balls from uh, Jalen Hurts. That's a good thing. Dudes are looking forward to Jalen Hurts being the captain of the ship. That's a good thing. I would say your quarterback problem is solved. You just have to get rid of Carson Wentz, however way you're going to do it, and find, you know, admirable compensation for it. J the the e this is the wildest thing of the of this whole thing to me. The belief the the, the the belief that the Philadelphia Eagles somehow don't believe in either quarterback. I think they actually believe in both quarterbacks, but there's but this is this one of the smart things that they're doing is letting it be known that both quarterbacks can't coexist on this roster. They're both starting quarterbacks. You can't bench one for the other right now at this point. You gotta move one of them. So that's one of the things that's making sense about this whole saga to me is that they know somebody has to be moved, but it's kind of weird to me that they are this they are deciding to take the cap hit that everybody's talking about. Now, with with the things that are being said about, you know, the value and, and, and just what we're getting back for Carson Wentz, guys are talking about now, you know, adding Zach Ertz. It's, it's being reported that they're trying to add Zach Ertz to the trade package to boost back to boost up what we get back for the, for the whole deal in itself. Now, if you have to get rid of, you know, a tight end that has Hall of Fame numbers, Hall of Fame qualities, a tight end that has been in big games, you know what I mean? Certainly, he, he wasn't a top three, top five tight end this year, but a tight end, when he's healthy, 100% is a top five tight end in the game, along with a guy that you traded so much for to get in the first place and played the part in getting you that Super Bowl. But you're trading away two guys that played the part in getting you that Super Bowl. You got to get a first round pick back if you add Zach Ertz to, to, to this. I thought it would be easier to get a first round pick back for Carson Wentz, but it turns out that that's not the case right now. But I think teams are just trying to smoke us out. We can't afford to be patient, though. We can't afford to be patient. Listen, if you're getting two first round, if you're getting two second round picks, and 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 one of the second round picks is undoubtedly for this year, or if you could find a team with two second round picks in this upcoming draft, giving you three second round picks, I think it's fair. If you could find a team that's giving you two second round picks, if you're gonna get two second round picks this year, a first, and you picking three times in a second round because you already got a second round pick, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I think that's fair compensation. Fair compensation. I'll tell you why. Number one, the Philadelphia Eagles don't even have a fourth round pick. We don't have a fourth round pick. So after the third round, we'll be waiting around for a while. We're going to be waiting around for a while after the third round. And in the fourth round, that's where a lot of gems and a lot of people that might have slipped down are truly found. I think it's like the third and the fourth round where you really, really, really can find some high level talent in a lot of these drafts. And a lot of these drafts, and I think the Philadelphia Eagles have to explore an option that, you know, just that 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 captures putting us in that type of situation. It's all about now being put in a better situation as a football club. That's what it's about. Drafting a quarterback has to be the furthest thing from our minds, because I believe me. Now, I can't speak for the front office, but I believe that Jalen Hurts has to be the guy. He has to be the guy. You got to take that gamble on Jalen Hurts. He on a rookie deal. And you got to use those picks to fill up other holes. I'd rather be in a situation like this. I'd rather be in a situation to where we got all the pieces around us and we just looking for a quarterback. Than to be in a situation to where we have the quarterback and, 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 and we don't. Listen, listen, we have the quarterback. Hear me out. We have the quarterback. 
and we're not sure about the quarterback, so we keep getting quarterbacks. That's a terrible situation. A terrible situation. Drafting a quarterback this year, a guy who another team needs because we don't need him, another first-round quarterback, drafting another quarterback this year is crazy to me. It's It would just be ridiculous. Ridiculous if these guys drafted if, if they drafted a quarterback with the first second or third pick in this year's draft Howie Roseman has, has reached an all-time high an all-time high of just not you know Understanding the game and understanding that it takes a lot more than that to win And this is a guy who won a Super Bowl with not out of starting quarterback I don't understand it takes a lot more the pieces around these quarterbacks matter You know what I mean? So I think that we have to worry about we have to worry about our center who just made the Pro Bowl talking about possibly retiring. We got to worry about that. We got to worry about Kelsey. We got to worry about a backup center. We got to worry about a cornerback on the opposite side of Slay. We got to worry about finally, finally fixing this linebacker situation. And we got to worry about a possible bona fide playmaker who could contribute from day one. We got to worry about that. The wide receivers are there. The tight end is there. Well, I believe to I believe I believe the tight end could possibly slip down to about the 15th pick, but he's there. Well, he ain't going past the Giants, I don't think. The tight end is there. The wide receivers are there. The offensive linemen are there. The cornerback is there. Has to be one of those guys who can immediately fill a hole from day one. So all these big boards that I'm seeing that has Trevor Lawrence on the big board, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. The thought of drafting a quarterback. Is the furthest thing from these that from, from what needs to happen to get us back on the right path. And I think that this is a this is a defining moment and a defining draft for Philadelphia Eagles franchise that is looking down the barrel of being bad for 10 years or turning it around now. We're looking down the barrel of being bad for 10 years or turning it around now. This is the most important draft class. This is the most important draft for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um since we drafted Carson Wentz and we didn't know how important that was because we didn't know we were going to win a Super Bowl this draft is important and the Philadelphia Eagles have to absolutely shoot with 99% accuracy to get us out of this hole that we're, we're seemingly looking down towards so um, just to recap would I take two second round picks for Carson Wentz at this point with knowing we don't have a fourth round pick I probably would if the two for, if the two second round picks are in the same year and it's not a lot of teams with two second round picks this year if the, if the two second round picks are in the same year it could be a lot of teams I don't know but if it's in the same year this year coming up I'm taking it that gives me three second round picks and you could do some damage with that you could do some damage with that three second round picks is better than one first round pick I'll tell you that off the break I'll tell you that off the break especially in the position that we in right now because our first second round pick is going to be high in the second round three second round picks is dangerous and I think you got to consider it um you got to consider it you know I, I, ideally I take I take two second rounds in the third for Carson and Zach Ertz really because if, if guys want to move on it's time for them to move on if you're not going to go with guys it's time for us to move on so get what you could get at this time at this time and stop trying to stop trying to milk it seriously seriously because you can't even effectively think about draft until you move Carson Wentz because you don't know what your draft order going to be you know what I mean but let me know what y'all think in the comments man